So, as you may already know, I have become quite the plant hoarder in this new house. There are just so many windows and so much light, I just couldn't help myself. I always, I've always tried to be a plant hoarder, but our old house just was not set up for it. But anyway, so I have this trash can, it's like a wire trash can. It's back from when I went to college. I've had that thing for forever, but I've stopped using it as a trash can mostly because it's just not really the best, I guess, because it's like made out of wire, so it has holes, so like stuff falls out of it. But also, if I don't want stuff to fall out of it, I have to put a bag in it, and then it just doesn't look good because it's wire and you can see the bag. It's just, I stopped using it as a trash can, basically. But I kept being too lazy and I kept forgetting to take it with me every time I made donation runs. So it's just been kind of like floating around my craft room, collecting random things like I started using it to store yarn, I used it to store fabric, but one day I thought maybe I could like flip it over and use it as a plant stand. But to help make it look less like a trash can, I wanted to kind of spruce it up a little bit. So that's what I'm doing today. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to turn a wire trash can into a cute plant stand. Well, hopefully cute. So let's get started. So I used my wire mesh trash can, gold spray paint, raffia, and a crochet hook that fits into the wire mesh. Since I wouldn't be able to cover the rim and the bottom with raffia, I spray painted those with this hammered texture gold spray paint, and then I let it dry. For the woven looking part, I started by working around where the mesh meets the bottom of the trash can. I held the end of the raffia on the inside of the can, poked my crochet hook through the mesh, and pulled some of the raffia back through, like so, keeping the raffia taut as I worked around. I counted roughly five or so mesh holes over, poked the hook in, pulled more raffia through, and on and on, basically making a crochet chain all the way around. When I reached the beginning, I started the main pattern that I was going for, which is a zigzag chevron type thing. For this, I worked up and down. Following the diagonal of the mesh, I went down about 10 holes, poked the hook in, pulled the raffia through, and then down about 10 more holes in the opposite diagonal direction, poked the hook in, pulled the raffia through, etc. until I reached the other side. Then, to match the other side, I did the crochet chain all the way around that side. Then I worked my way back up in the same way, but one hole over. When I reached the other end again, I made one small stitch over to the next hole and then continued down with the zigzag pattern. This small stitch helps keep the raffia loop in place. I found that if I tried to just go back down without moving over one hole, the last raffia loop would kind of pull over and expose more of the mesh than I wanted. Anyway, I basically just continued this over and over and over until I covered the whole thing. I tied the ends off on the inside, and then I was done. I flipped the trash can over and stuck my plant on top. Let's just ignore how the plant's plastic pot doesn't really fit into the decorative pot that I have for this thing. Also, the plant stand kind of still just looks like a trash can flipped over, but whatever, it looks better than the wire mesh that it was before. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all of that good stuff. If you wanna follow me on any of my social media, they'll be linked down below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next week. Thank you so much to my patrons for helping me produce this video. If you like my videos and have learned something from them, please consider supporting me on Patreon to help me continue to make them. It's totally optional, I'll still be making videos either way, it just helps me be able to put out better stuff. A link will be down below, or you can just click up here in the corner.